Hey everyone, it's uh, Brett Hornby here, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Got to put on my Calgary Stampeders gear. Got to talk to some Calgary Stampeders and CFL news. As the other day, the Canadian Football League had their Canadian College Draft for 2021. This draft always happens in early May, regardless if we're going through a global pandemic of COVID-19 or not. But let's go over the players that the Calgary Stampeders drafted for the 2021 Canadian College Draft. And there were definitely some intriguing names and one player that I'm very excited about. At least we have his rights. But if he does actually get to play for the Calgary Stampeders, I think we got a good one. But he also was recently drafted by the in the NFL. That I'll touch upon. So this is the Canadian College Draft where you got players that were have nationals or have a birth certificate as a Canadian. In this video, last month, there was the Global Draft where the Calgary Stampeders drafted four players that were traced back from being overseas. As there's definitely more international flavor when it comes to Canadian football talent or even just football talent in general. But this is for the Canadian College Draft. And then since there was no season last season, this was actually a snake draft and there was a lottery. The snake draft being that, if, let's say, for example, if you picked first in one round, you pick last in the next round. Similar to what happened in 2005 with the National Hockey League entry draft, where they had a lottery to determine who got the first overall pick. And then if you pick first in one round, you pick last in the next round. So this actually went to the Hamilton Tigers as they got the first overall pick in this draft. And you can label this one as the Jake Burt draft, as that's who was picked first overall by the Hamilton Tiger Cats in the Canadian College draft. But when it comes to the Calgary Stampeders, they had six picks as they picked eighth overall, and then they picked 11th overall, eighth overall in the first round, 11th overall in the second round. Then going into the third round, the Calgary Stampeders had the 26th overall pick. And then the fourth round, they had the 29th overall pick. And then the fifth round, they actually had two picks. They had the 43rd and the 44th overall pick. As the 43rd pick actually came from the Toronto Argonauts in the trade that they made with the Toronto Argonauts. They had a free agent frenzy when it was when they traded the rights to Eric Rogers, Cordero Law, and Roberson Daniel. The Calgary Stampeders picked up a couple draft picks, one that was used in this draft and one that was used in the Global Draft last month. But the Calgary Stampeders traded away their sixth round pick to the Toronto Argonauts. So Calgary's 47th overall pick went to the Toronto Argonauts. So what i also like to do is I'll recap the players who the Calgary Stampeders drafted. But I'll touch upon that pick, what that pick was used that was traded away. And actually the University of Calgary Dinos were also well represented. There were various players or especially a part of the Vanity Cup team back in 2019 that got picked up in this draft. So let's take a look at the players that the Calgary Stampeders drafted. And I'm going to say one player I'm definitely very excited for, if indeed he actually gets to play, because he goes drafted by the National Football League first. But the first round pick was eighth overall, the Calgary Stan Peters selected, if I can pronounce his name right, I've heard it a few times, so I apologize if I butcher at least his last name, is Amen Abagamia, if I said it right. He's a linebacker. He played at Oklahoma State. He is a 6'1", 235-pounder. He was born September 4th, 1998. Actually, he is born in Lagos, Nigeria. However, he's a local guy, as he actually went to Calgary's Notre Dame High School. He played in 49 games over four seasons in 2017 to 2020 at Oklahoma State. In his career with the Cowboys, he recorded 209 tackles, including 25 tackles for a loss, nine sacks, four, four forced fumbles, four fumble recoveries, and he will have one interception on a block kick. So he's very versatile, it sounds like. Maybe we have our own version of our Orlando Steinauer, but when it comes to the Linebacker, I guess Orlando Steiner was in the secondary that was recently drafted. Got inducted in the Hall of Fame this year, and you can see that video as well. He was voted as a captain by his teammates during his final two seasons, fall of the 2021 season. He actually is an unsigned drafted free agent 
actually from my Los Angeles Charger. So at least he's a Charger and a Stampeder. So we'll see if uh, he actually will come to Calgary. Assuming we have football this season, but uh, I think this is a good pick if we can get him by a nice gamble. So that's who the Calgary Stampeders drafted. And a man, Ogabongi, if I said it right. I apologize for the name. It's a strange sounding name that I can hear it 500 times and say 500 times differently. So that's who the Calgary Stampeders used on their first round pick. So in the second round, they got the 11th overall pick. And as the Calgary Stampeders picked an offensive lineman, a much easier name for me to say this time in Bryce Ball, or Bryce Bell, as I meant to say. As he went to Wilfrid Laurie, he's six foot four, two hundred and ninety pounds. Born March 3rd, 1998, and he was born in Waterloo, Ontario. He played 26 games over four seasons from 2016-2019 at Laurie, starting 16 games at right tackle. Over the 2018-19 season, Bell was a part of the Golden Hawks offensive line that allowed the fewest sacks in the Ontario University Athletics and in 2019. He helped pave the way for the conference running championship Rondé Gordon. Bell attended Sir John A. McDonald Secondary School in Waterloo, pursuing up before the Cambridge Lions football team. Bell became the first Golden Hawks offensive lineman to appear in the CFL counting Bureau in the top 20 of eligible prospects, and I would say, looking at the last couple seasons with free agency and the retirements, the Calgary Stampeders definitely need to uh, bulk up on the offensive line and get some national talent. That's generally where you like to get your national talent filled in, so you can plug in skilled players elsewhere to satisfy the ratio. So that was who Calgary selected in the second round. So in the third round, Actually, Calgary didn't have to look too far for this player. In the third round, 26th overall, the Calgary Stampeders drafted Charlie Moore, a linebacker, and he played right here in Calgary for the University of Calgary Dinos. He's a 6'3", 215-pounder, born March 14th, 1998. I'm going to say, oh, well, that's March 3rd, but March 14th, 1998. He was born in South Delta, British Columbia. Moore played in 17 games over three seasons, 2017 to 2019, with the University of Calgary Dinos right here in Calgary. In his career, he tallied 77 tackles, including one and a half tackles, 11 and a half, as I meant to say, tackles for a loss, three forced fumbles, one fumble recovery, one sack, one interception, one pass defended, and one block kick. Moore was invited to the 2021 College Gridiron Showcase in actually Fort Worth, Texas, so he got some attention south of the border as well. He won the provincial championship with the South Delta Sun Devils in 2014. And he was on a member of the 2019 Vanier Cup champion for the University of Calgary Dinos. And he also majored in geography at the University of Calgary. So that was Charlie Moore. So we at least have a dino that we selected to, to for the Calgary Stampeders. So in the fourth round, the Calgary Stampeders selected... Elliot Graham, 29th overall. He's a linebacker. This one was playing at the UBC, and he is 6'3", 220 pounds. Born September 21st, 1998. He was born in Hamilton, Ontario. As a top book, Graham, he played 23 games for the Thunderbirds from 2017 to 2019. He made 87 tackles, including four tackles for a loss, five pass breakups, one forced fumble, and one sack. He also had an interception return for a touchdown against Manitoba in 2017, with a 107-yard run back being the longest in school history and the second longest in Canada West history. He attended Westdale Secondary School in Hamilton, so that was the fourth-round pick that the Calgary Stampeders used from Elliot Graham. So the next pick that the Calgary Stampeders had in the fifth round, this was the pick that they acquired from the Toronto Argonauts to trade away the rights to pending unrestricted free agents that were likely to come back. I am very excited for this player if he actually gets to play for the Calgary Stampeders, but worth rolling the dice on is in the fifth round, 43rd overall, the Calgary Stampeders. I heard about this guy, Chubba Hubbard, on how great he was, especially in the U.S., and other things I like about Chubba Hubbard. He actually also played at Oklahoma State, so he's the teammate of Aman Okabagiyama, if I said it right. So he's, we have two players from Oklahoma State. He is six foot tall, 208 pounds. June 11th, 1999. So he was a, his birthday is a day before mine. Gemini's rule. 
And he actually was born in Edmonton, Alberta. So he's a Gemini, an Albertan, and a running back. Could we, if, could we potentially find the next John Cornish if he actually gets to play with the Calgary Stampeders? Because a week before the Canadian College draft, he was drafted in the fourth round for the Carolina Panthers. So he has been signed with the Carolina Panthers in the National Football League. But there's a lot to say about Chubba Hubbard. This is the player that I'm most excited for if indeed he happens to come to Calgary. We definitely need a running back and we were spoiled, especially with John Cornish. So let's get to Chubba Hubbard. He played three seasons from 2018 to 2020 for the Calgary or the Cowboys. And he had redshirted after he was redshirted back in 2017. He finished his Oklahoma State career with 585 carries for 3,000 300 for 3,459 rushing yards and 33 touchdowns for ranks second in school history, averaging 136 point yards per game. I like those numbers because Calgary definitely back in the 2019 season was the worst rushing team in the league, and we got burned by rushing by the Winnipeg Blue Bombers. So let's also talk about Hubbard's decorated career. As in 2019, he saw him take home multiple honors, including Big Team All-Big 12, 12 Big 12 Offensive Player of the Year, and First Team All-American. He was actually eighth in the Heisman Trophy voting that led all fullbacks, FBS players in rushing yards. Chubba Hubbard, he also won the John Cornish Trophy. I made a video talking about the John Cornish Trophy, is that goes to the top Canadian player in the NCAA football. So there's some John Cornish connection to Chubba Hubbard. I see the potential that the Calgary Stampeders took a chance, you know. That's why he was still on the board, because the last thing it talks about is he was recently selected by the Carolina Panthers in the fourth round in the 2021 National Football League draft. So he is going to try out for the Carolina Panthers, but I'm glad that we at least have him. We have him. Could Chubba Hubbard, could he play for the Calgary Stampeders? And you almost got to wonder, why didn't Edmonton pick him? This will be very satisfying if we get him. This is the player I'm most excited for looking at who we drafted. When I saw it, I was like, yes, we got him. I, I, was, I was thinking wishful thinking that, uh, when I first heard about them and the fact he's Albertan and Gemini, that I was thinking, yeah, it would be a dream if we get him. At least we got him in the draft. But we'll see. But I definitely love that pick, especially when it was a pick that we acquired in a trade. But uh, that's Chubba Hubbard. So the last pick, which was the pick after Chubba Hubbard in the fifth round, this is Calgary's own pick, 44th overall, as they drafted uh, Leather Hakanavu, if I said that name right. He's a receiver from York University. He's a 6'4", 195-pounder, born August 23rd, 1996. Actually, for the second pick in a row, we also went to Edmonton as he was born in Edmonton. Okanavu played three seasons from 2017 to 19 with the Lions. He appeared in 22 games. He registered 69 receptions for 951 yards and six touchdowns during his collegiate career. He started all eight games in 2019 and led York in receiving yards and touchdowns while finishing second in reception. He earned an invitation to the 2020 East West Bowl. So. Those are the six players that the Calgary Stampeders drafted. So to recap, in the first round, Amen Ogabagima, as who the Calgary Stampeders drafted, the linebacker, first round, eighth overall. If I, of course, said the last name right, maybe eventually I'll get the name right. Second overall pick in the 11th overall, we selected an offensive lineman in Bryce Bell. In the third round, 26th overall, we stayed close to home. We drafted linebacker Charlie Moore, who played right here in Calgary, with the University of Calgary Dinos. And then in the fourth round, 29th overall, the Calgary Stampeders drafted Elliot Graham, a linebacker. And then Chubb Hubbard, fifth round pick, 43rd overall, running back. I sure hope he plays for the Calgary Stampeders. I mean, hopefully maybe collect some money with the Carolina Panthers. But hopefully, just hopefully, uh, we were spoiled with John Cornish and even Jerome Messam, and he won the John Cornish Trophy. So... If, if Trevor Hubbard plays here, we, we stole this draft, I would say. We've got the best player in the draft if he actually pans out. And then the last pick was Luther Hakanavu, 5th round, 44th overall receiver. So those are the six players that the Calgary Stampeders drafted in the 2021 Canadian College Draft. So welcome to the Stamps Nation, to those six players. 
So now let's take a look at the other players that I'd like to touch upon. First, the pick that we traded away. So if we go to the uh, sixth round, as a, if I can scroll with the uh, phone here, the 47th overall pick that the Calgary Stampeders traded to the Toronto Argonauts in that trade, where we traded away the rights to Eric Rogers, Roberson Daniel, and Cordero Law ahead of free agent frenzy. That pick that the Toronto Argonauts used went to Joshua Hagerty, a defensive back from the University of Saskatchewan. He's a 6'3", 220-pounder, born July 7th, July 27th, 1998. So that's who the Toronto Argonauts used the pick that we traded away. But the University of Calgary Dinos actually were well represented. There's a few Dinos that got drafted in addition to the player that the Calgary Stampeders drafted. The first offensive lineman that the or the first University of Calgary Dino that got drafted in this draft was an offensive lineman and actually he was drafted just before the Calgary Stampeders, seventh overall. It was Peter Nicastro, offensive lineman. He's a six foot two, two hundred and ninety-five pounder. He was born December 9th, 1998. So Peter Nicastro is going to the Toronto Argonauts. So that was the first University of Calgary Dino that got drafted. And then the second one that got drafted, if I can look for the scroll here, is in the second round, 14th overall. Well, the Edmonton, whatever you're going to call yourselves, I'm going to call them the Elk. That's the name that they should use, as I made that video, ranking the names. But Edmonton drafted Grant McDonald, a linebacker, 6'3", 220-pounder, 14th overall in the second round. He was born... July 14th, 1999, so Grant McDonald, the second Dino to be drafted in this draft, going to the enemy up north in Edmonton to be interesting to see him on Labor Day. So the next player that the Calgary, University of Calgary selection was Charlie Moore, the who, who the Calgary Stat Peters drafted, 26th overall in the third round, linebacker, I already mentioned, 6'3", 215 Pounder, born March 14th, 1998, so that was the third dino that got selected, but there was more dinos that got selected, as there was no dinos that were selected in the fourth round, but in the fifth round, there was another dino that I remember got drafted. 38th overall in the fifth round, this one goes to the Saskatchewan Rough Riders, as Logan Bandy is going to the Saskatchewan Rough Riders, who played here, offensive lineman, 6'5", 285 pounder, oh, born May 27, 1999. Gemini's rule, but uh, we got one player that's going to Edmonton, one player that's going to Saskatchewan, who played his college ball here in Calgary, and I believe there was a, one more player that got uh, drafted. At, oh yeah, the last University of Calgary Dynamo that got drafted in the sixth round, 51st overall, is Tyler Packer, another offensive lineman. As he's a six foot six, three hundred fifteen pounder, so a very massive dude on this guy. He was born July seventeenth, nineteen ninety nine. So five players got drafted by a CFL team in the Canadian College Draft. So we have some dinos to look forward to potentially to watch later this season. So we have football out of fifty four because there were fifty four picks. I guess you could say Mister Irrelevant for the Canadian College Draft. Goes to Miles, Miles Mainlow, who was drafted from based out of Western. This went to the Hamilton Tiger Cats as he was a linebacker, 6'2", 230 pounder, born June 18th, 1999. Gemini's rule. I have to throw that in there, but uh, I'll put it in the link in the description below the draft tracker and who the Calgary Stampeders drafted. But I'm definitely most excited for the Chubba Hubbard draft pick if he happens to play for the Calgary Stampeders. We might have a steal, as I liked his accolades that he had in college. But I think overall, I think the Calgary Stampeders were able to find some needs. You know, it's always good to get, you know, Canadian national players on the offensive line and defensive linemen so you can be able to uh, fill out your skilled players elsewhere. As usually, that's how you build a CFL team because you have that ratio you have to deal with. But uh, I'm going to ask all you people out there, CFL fan, Stampeder fan or not, what do you think of the picks that the Calgary Stampeders made? How do you think the Calgary Stampeders did in this draft? I mean, it's always too early to tell. I mean, you always get these grades that this team did this, this team did that. But you just never know. I'm just excited that for the Chubba Hubbard pick. 
I would like to see Chubba Hubbard play for the Gary Stampeders, and uh, it would be great, you know, because he has the makings of another John Cornish. And uh, I'm going to say, John Cornish, he is a beast. So much of a beast, he has won a trophy, and Chubba Hubbard won that said trophy. That's named after John Cornish, but uh, enough of that. But I'm just hoping that eventually we'll have football in 2021 and actually get to go to games. I mean, man, it's been too long since I've been able to do that. Based on what I've been reading online, I mean, there was that plan that uh, the season got delayed. It's not going to start till at least August 5th. And right now, here we are in May. I'm still, mm, right now, just how I'm feeling about everything in general. But, I mean, if more people get vaccinated and guild up some more herd immunity. However, I did hear, I did see on the Twitterverse that uh, apparently the six provinces where the CFL operates in the six provinces in the country, the health authorities approve the return plan for the CFL. So hopefully that is some encouraging news, but uh, hopefully, you know, there'll be a plan where games A actually happen and B, fans will be intense and still be to be seen about uh, any of the, how the games are going to go, if fans will be intense or how that's going to go. But at least I'm excited for having some more Calgary Stampeders news and the players that we recently drafted. So anyway, to close it out, as I say, if you want to follow along with this Calgary sports fan's journey, home of Flames, Hip, and Roughnecks, and Stampeders, just uh, make sure you hit like, subscribe, as I mostly do talk Calgary sports on my YouTube channel, recapping games. Some we will have games later this year for the Calgary Stampeders and stories, you know, drafting who we recently drafted. I'm trying to pronounce some names, but I'm definitely excited for one player that we drafted. At least we have him. We have his rights, but hopefully... Uh, Things will work out that we would have them. But I also do a variety of non-sports content. Like personal vlogs, attempt to call me, and also do share my experience I'm on the road or a sporting event. Hopefully, let, let's say Labor Day this year, I'll be in the stands with the Jets flying overhead at McMahon Stadium. Those are the good old days when we used to do that. But I've also been doing some more vlogging on the go. As I want to be able to just do more than just talk sports and be a sports fan. I like to get around and share my experiences, any stories from the past in the city of Calgary, where I probably live, work, and so if that all sounds like it'd be interesting to watch to follow along with this Calgary sports fan's journey, you know what you need to do, just uh, make sure you hit like and subscribe. I also have my other social media links down in the description below for other ways you can follow me. So I gotta say, welcome to the Calgary Stampeders for the six players that were drafted, and let's hope we'll get to see you all in action at some point, and Make an impact and keep the winning tradition going for the Calgary Stampeders. So as I just want to say, go Stamps, go. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.